after having surgery to repair a broken hand this past Wednesday night. Operative word, Eric Musselman, for the students tonight, Red Bull. <laughs> Aries, the rematch here tonight, Santa Clara, the home team in white, and John Bryant coming off a spectacular game Thursday night in San Diego. He was the dominant player on the floor in an overtime win for Santa Clara. It'll really be interesting tonight, Ted, the rebounding war between Bryant and Omar Sanham. That'll be an interesting matchup on the glass. And for St. Mary's in the road, Dark Blues, Diamond Simpson won the jump, and Gale set it up with Wayne Hunter holding the ball now. He's the player that takes Mills' spot in the starting lineup. Santa Clara with three freshmen in their starting lineup, two seniors, including Bryant. Ian O'Leary, Omar Samhan stepping back. Samhan with a little turnaround, and he held John Bryant to eight points in the first game in Moraga. Samhan scored eight of his own. Randy Bennett take that every time, a draw. Omar does a great job of having patience in the post, letting things develop and reading the defense. Santa Clara, James Rahan, freshman guard from San Diego, has had a terrific run here of late. Santa Clara freshman are growing up in a hurry. Rahan, though, air ball short. Simpson rebound, St. Mary's. Santa Clara back in transition, and the pop by Hunter from the wing is a three. That's big for Hunter's confidence. He is in this starting lineup for defensive purposes. If he can get his offense rolling, what an added bonus to Coach Bennett. That scores five a game. And knocks down his first shot. Open three on the way here, and an answer. Calvin Johnson again, and now that's a bonus. He's in the Santa Clara lineup. Kerry <laughs> Keating says for the same thing, to defend and move the ball. We're seeing two defenders knock down yeah. big shots early in the game. And Sam Hand crossing the floor to Simpson. Simpson bowling Mark Frazzolini in. A two-man game right side here. Samhan step back again, misses short, and John Bryant with the Santa Clara rebound. John Bryant a lot lighter. I'm just watching early on here, see how he's running the floor. He, he's done a great job in the last nine months of weightlifting yeah. and watching what he eats. He's really changed his eating habits. There's a lot less of him, which has been a big plus as he misses there, and the rebound goes out of bounds, and. Uh, Melvin Landry asking for help. That ball's going to stay with Santa Clara. And this Saturday night in the WCC, and boy, this, we didn't see the game, obviously. We were a little caught off guard by the score. Memphis winning by 18 in Spokane. USD uh, had a pretty easy one with USF and the Battle of LA there in the early second half with Kappa 5 on Loyola Marymount. Are you surprised by the Memphis score? A little bit. That game being played virtually on a home court in Washington. So, yes, no question. So an overplay there by Diamond Simpson. And he turns it into two to give St. Mary's a four-point lead. Now racing all the way back. Foster. Kevin Foster, freshman from Texas, at 31 against St. Mary's in Moraga last month. And when you consider Ted a freshman having 31 of their 62 points, what a game he played in Moraga. Air ball by Carlin Hughes, but Ian O'Leary saves it for St. Mary's. Well, Sam and Bryant won't go out there to play him. Now Wayne Hunter doing a lot of handling, then a little pick and roll with Sam Hand. Skip across O'Leary. Inside the arc. And the rebound. Good block out there by Trasolini of Santa Clara. Ted Ian O'Leary has really lost his confidence. His game playing with Patty Mills is so much different when Mills is out. He's not That's getting a wide open perimeter jump shot off triple penetration. That's amazing, right? How how one player can affect so many others. And that's why Lucas Walker now becomes a bigger key figure for St. Mary's because they need his athleticism. This is Rahan all the way in, but Bryant there for the tip. So two straight buckets by Santa Clara to tie it. Well, again, a little clear out here. If Samhan wants to go, they've cleared it for him. He does. And it's a hell ball, possession Santa Clara. Great job by Bryant not biting on the pump fake. As you watch here, Ted, 
it's very important for Bryant to keep yeah. his feet on that initial pump fake. It looks like Coach Bennett right now wants to go inside the big Omar Sanham to try to possibly wear down Bryant and make him work at the defensive end. Which that's a natural play, right? And even better, the bonus if he can pick up a foul or two on him. Now these two teams, when they played in Moraga, Samhan did a terrific job. Randy Bennett uh, told me this league, he was thrilled with the defensive job Samhan did on Bryant. And then Samhan had a big game and he's only had 15 rebounds and four blocks against Santa Clara. Calvin Johnson. And that's all St. Mary's on the board. The speed of the game, you notice right away, just so different for St. Mary's without Mills. Mills, one of the fastest players with the ball in the entire country. Simpson put it down and just goes right in on Trezzolini. Big time by Diamond Simpson. Diamond Simpson has elevated his offensive game. He understands they're missing Mills' points, and he's the guy now taking it upon himself to put points on the board. Four, uh, four early on. Simpson. Now pull back out. Kevin Foster has emerged really as the best point option for Kerry Keating and very complex play. Ray Hahn with the shot clock running out. Good defense, O'Leary. And then he can't corral the pass. It'll go out and be a turnover. And we'll come back in to Santa Clara out of the timeout. So we get to our first break. St. Mary's getting a good start from Diamond Simpson. And the Gales on the road, up two. Every college team, seems like, has one guy like that, a good college team. Quick up there by Foster out of the timeout, and he gets that little hang, dance, and then drop. His nickname is good, Microwave. He's proven it tonight. A guy that can put points on the board in a hurry. Was Vinny Johnson the first one? Was he the original Microwave? He's the original, Ted. All right, Sam and now it's Ben Dowdle on the floor for Santa Clara, and the give off by Sam Hand to Wayne Hunter hits the baseline jump. St. Mary's dumped the ball into the post and then ran split action, where the two guys on the strong side set a screen for each other. Ben Dowdle from Australia. He's Santa Clara's Aussie contribution to the uh, WCC. He's on the floor for Mark Trazzolini. Santa Clara, no change, or rather, St. Mary's, no changes during the timeout. And then a foul on the drive by Foster. They're going to get Wayne Hunter of St. Mary's on the reach. Hunter did not need to reach that time. Omar Sanhan had done a good job of coming over from the weak side. He was waiting on that strong side block to give help off yeah. the dribble penetration. So as you're, if you're coaching a team and you've got a shot blocker, is that something you teach your players? No if, question. If, you're, if you get beat on the, or if you're going to get a blow by against you, you got a shot blocker. No doubt. And then the key is to help the helper. Mm -hmm. So when the big comes over to help, you've got to drop and sink from the weak side, and somebody's then got to body up Bryant and keep him off the glass every time Omar goes to help. One out of two for Kevin Foster at the foul line. We saw Patty Mills, a very well-dressed spectator tonight. And they had dueling 31s in that game. Mills had 31, and the winner for St. Mary's Foster, a freshman, his best game that same night. And by the way, we want to say a good day to all of our friends in Australia who are watching tonight. And I hope you'll save a place on Manly Beach for me, please. I promise I'm getting there. That's going to be a, a bull in and a walk. Sam Ann, too many steps as he muscled his way in against John Bryant. The defender here does a good job of just kind of releasing. He backs up a step, and that really sets it up. He started with the knee and then backed up and kind of pulled the chair right out yeah. from the offensive player. And I'm sorry, that's uh, Trezzolini, Mark Trezzolini, who is the uh, defender there. So out of the timeout, Kerry Keating's using Dowdle to play behind Omar Sandman. Now we've got a travel called here against Santa Clara. Perry Petty in the game, the junior guard from Milwaukee, another new body for Kerry.